Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Prairie Dog. Tonight we've got for you a Porter Porter Ale. It's a 5.6% coming straight out of Comstock, Michigan. Um, and we're going to see tonight if it really does. So it's the it's a robust porter. Robust. It's Bell's Robust Porter. Um, so, Bell's make great, great beers. They really do. A lot of good beers come from Michigan. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Porter, Porters are, I like to call them Stout Juniors. Um, they're like uh, weaker, weaker stouts, so you're going to get a lot of that coffee and chocolate flavor in there, heavily roasted malts, um, stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and take a look, and that is Coca-Cola colored. Yeah, that's um, definitely. Pretty carbonated though, I see a lot of carbonation bubbles in there. Head is uh, nice, a nice uh, khaki head. Mm -hmm. And you get a hand of coffee in there. Yeah, not too much. A um, little chocolate, get those roasted, uh, heavily roasted malts. Mm, it smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to this one, shall we? Especially yep. after Imaka. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Um, not as hoppy, not, not as a lot of hoppy presence. You get a little bit of bitterness, and I think that bitterness is actually coming from the uh, darkly roasted malts. Mm -hmm. um, a nice coffee presence, a tint, tint of vanilla, and it's almost creamy. You know, I, actually, of all the flavors that are at work right here, the one that's sticking out to me most is, is the chocolate undertones. Mm -hmm. so you can really taste that in this. Uh, Mouthfeel, uh, it's light. It's not as thick as you'd expect it to be. It's a light yeah. mouthfeel. It's not watery, but it's light. Right. It really does maintain a good level of carbonation. Yeah, you get a carbonation bite in your tongue, which is, you don't get a lot of that with porters and stouts and heavier beers. No. Yeah. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, like I said, I haven't had a bad Bell's beer, so. Right. I think what's really exceptional about this is, while you do definitely have the coffee and chocolate taste, it still very much tastes like a beer, you know? Right. And, and I appreciate that. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's give this a rating. Um, this beer cost 10 bucks for a sixer, which is very reasonable yeah. um, for a 5.6% beer. Um, so no points for price, that's that's good. Um, that being said, availability. Um, I generally don't have a problem getting Bells here in Kentucky, but I'm sure it's not available everywhere. Bells is, in Kentucky generally, I, Kroger, Liquor Barn, all those places have it, but I'm sure it's not available in all other states. Right. Um, so all that taken on factor, this is definitely an eight for me. Uh, it's good going toward the great range. Um, you know, I think I would like it. I would like a tad more bit of vanilla characteristics in it, mm -hmm. to, uh, and that would put it over the top for me. Um, but I mean, it's it's great, and I would highly recommend getting it. And this is one of the beers that I would recommend because of the price being about ten bucks. Go ahead and get a six pack. I think it's worth a six pack. Yeah. What about you? Um, while I do appreciate vanilla, I think for what this is, it really is excellent. I mean, it's got a great blend of the chocolate, the roast, and the actual beer. And, uh, you know, considering its price, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I would highly recommend someone buy a six-pack of this. I think you would have no trouble at all finishing the whole thing. Yeah, one of the better porters I've had in a while. I've got two coconut porters sitting in the fridge that's been in there for a while, and I need to review, and I just, I doesn't, I like coconut a lot, but it mm -hmm. doesn't sound good to me. So, really? Yeah. Maybe we'll get those eventually. So, if you would like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. And I'm Prairie Dog. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.